next up. Furiously? Yes. Vocabulary refers to knowing the meaning of words and is critical to successful reading comprehension. Building vocabulary involves teaching your learner how to figure out the meaning of words while reading. It also requires selecting and studying the meanings of individual words and parts of words. It's important to relate these vocabulary words to learners' current and prior experiences to help cement them in their word bank. You'll see a learner and a tutor working with new vocabulary words in several ways to increase the learner's word bank. Strategies you'll see include Finding words in a word search puzzle Finding vocabulary words in sentences the tutor has created Writing a story using new words Matching flashcards with words in a learner's story So the next thing we're going to do is a word search. Are you familiar with word searches? Uh, no. So they give you a list of words down here at the bottom and all of these words are up here in this jumble of letters somehow and some of them will go straight across and read just like a word does when you read it in a book. Some of them go down, some of them go up, some of them go backwards and they can even go diagonally in either direction, right? And this is a fairly big one. When I start looking for one of these words is I look at the first letter first and then I go through kind of in a grid pattern and find. So for the word ooze you can just start and you can whatever works best for you if you like going across or if you like going back and forth up and down, whatever works. But I, use, I look for an O, and then, see, we've got an O up here, and then the next letter is an O also. So you go around all four corners to see if there's another O. So ooze isn't going to be here because we don't have another O, right? Yes. Okay? So you want to start looking? And for the word ooze, O O C E. All right, so you got ooze. Perfect. One more. Lightning. Okay. What's your strategy? Do it in a grid pattern. Okay. And what are you gonna look for first? I'm gonna start by looking for the L's. All right. And build. Try to build off that. Okay. There's no I around, so I'll keep moving. Okay. Got it. All right. So now you know how to do word search. Yes. You want to take it home and do the rest? Uh, yes, that should be great homework. Okay. So we started out with this list of words that you chose from the story as ones that you didn't instantly recognize, ones that we might need to look up, have a little, little work with. Yes. So here's the list of words. So what I did was I made a sentence for each of these words that was different from the sentence in the story that used it. Just to make sure that you can recognize what each of the words means in a different place from the original story about Rosa. So go ahead and read through each of the sentences and then pick out the word from your list that's in the sentence there and then tell me in your own words what that word means your own definition okay okay uh, right. uh, okay number one the blood oozed out of the pork chop when the cook Cut it. Okay. So what's the word? I'm circling oozed. Perfect. Oozed. Okay. So if the blood oozed out of the pork chop when the cook cut it, what does ooze mean? Um, that uh, like like here's the here's the pork chop, and the blood's oozing out of it. Okay. It, it's coming out of it. Okay. How is it coming out of it? Is it gushing? No. It, it, it's slowly coming out. Okay. Yeah, Cause exactly. Because it, it's not like it's squirting, it's slowly oozing out. Yeah, gush is a whole different thing than ooze. Right. Yeah. The 
train train roared by the cars with lightning speed. So what's the word in that sentence? Lightning. Mm -hmm. Lightning. What does it mean when it says the train roared by the cars with lightning speed? It went past, but it went past so quick that it was like a blur. Perfect. Absolutely. Number 11. My daughter, Pardil... What's that? P-E-D. Pedals. Yeah. Pedals. Yeah. The wheels of her bike furiously. Mm-hmm. Furiously. That's it. So what's it mean? She's not mad at her bike, is she? No, no. What's it mean? It, um, um, she's, she's, she's not like going down the street pedaling slowly. She's like furiously pedaling like to go up a hill. So last week when we met, we did the language experience story with the same words that we used from the story about Rosa. And I wrote down the story that you told me about your grandmother. What I did was I took it home and I typed it up. Why don't you go ahead and read through the story that you wrote about your grandmother and see how it came out. My grandmother. My grandmother's house is old and vast. It vibrates with love and warmth. She brushes her hair furiously every night to get the tangles out and she you should see her she's a blur when she's brushing and when she's cleaning her hands are lightning fast. Okay, Dave, that was great. So what we're gonna do now is to take the flashcards that you made from all those original words and what I want you to do is to match the word on the card up with the word in the story and just put it down underneath the word. How about that one? Lightning. What does your grandmother do like lightning? Uh, cleaning her home. Okay. Want to find the word? Lightning. Okay. What's the sentence say about her? Her hands are lightning fast as they flash through the air. So how are you feeling about those words now? Uh, good. Good. Do you think you could take them out and use them on your own now? You think you'll recognize them when you see them in, in other things that you read? Uh, yes, I would say so. Huh? I would. Okay. So we worked with these words in a lot of different ways. We did the word search. We did fill in the blanks. We looked them up. We did sentences. Which of those things do you think was the most helpful in helping you to remember how to pronounce the words and what they mean? I liked the I liked the word search. Um, I liked that the the word search the kind of like the crossword puzzle. Mm -hmm. I liked that very much. Okay, what about that worked for you? Helping me to uh, find the word, spelling it out, um, going through it in a grid like fashion. I liked that very much. That I learned a lot doing that. Okay, so the hands-on kind of thing. Yes, are plus helpful? I'm visual anyway. Okay. So that played. That was perfect. Okay, that's good. I'll remember that. We'll have to do more of those. And the fact that you took it home and did it, even better. Yes, that was, that was uh, enjoyable homework. Okay, with stories like this and, and these strategies, do you think this is something that you will be able to use when you have other things to read when you're just reading things at home? Yes, because it's, <coughs> it, it's given me a better understanding of the words. Okay. So definitely. Okay. Definitely. Vocabulary is critical to successful reading comprehension. Exposing a learner again and again to new vocabulary words in a variety of reading materials and contexts supports vocabulary development.
Developing background knowledge and a strong vocabulary is key to reading well. For this reason, it's important to explicitly and regularly focus on vocabulary development with your learner. You've seen a tutor do quite a bit of talking when explaining a new strategy. During most lessons, you and your learner would be equally talkative.